it's an interesting challenge when you when you do voice acting. I enjoy it because it's fun to take really specific direction from the people that know the game so well. That was really good. Um, try one more this time. Whereas more if I was acting I, and somebody tried to to direct me that specifically, I I tell them to go. You know. Take uh, 66. Well, the thing about Area 51 that was interesting to me was that I'd be portraying an alien. Our enemy hides with the machinery of deception. And it seemed kind of to share a lot of similar feelings as I do. I have kind of a distaste for mankind in general. Have you been able to establish communication with Has Team Delta? Captain, you and your crew need to suit up now. You're going in. Area 51, the thing that attracted me to it, is the same thing that attracts me to doing any film project it's the story first as a player you're involved in the story and the creation of that story and survival and whatever and you got something to go on the thing about area 51 is that it is such a uh, kind of like a, an urban legend so what we want to do is be able to get not only script but characters in there that can actually bring this to life to make you feel like maybe this is true maybe this is possible somehow The reason why we brought in the top talent is uh, Powers Booth is a commanding performance and he's your leader. Let me remind you gentlemen, we are in a hot zone. Marilyn Manson is a creepy alien. Are you comfortable being hunted? David Duchovny, I think we're all familiar with his prior roles as kind of the person who wants to believe in the conspiracy theories and aliens. By day three, I wanted to punch him in the face. By day seven, I did. All three of them just kind of combined to form a, uh, a performance that just makes the game an authentic, interesting piece of work. The various systems in your location aren't functioning properly. The backup power grid is failing. Your first objective is to get the generator online. Roger that. Yeah. Try it one more time, and this time from the top of paragraph three, just give me a little more sense of creeping under my skin. When we come into the studio, my goal for the day with that particular actor is to get the best performance out of them possible and to make the game come to life. Seven. These are reflections on your dead friends, basically. Once, after cleaning up a hot zone in Bisbee, Arizona, Crispy and I had to spend 10 days in quarantine. We really wanted David Duchovny just because, you know, the whole, you know, alien uh, conspiracy, that type of thing, the government conspiracy kind of really lended himself well to, uh, to David. Your flesh tears so easily, your bones snap so quickly. So we wanted something really strange and different, and we thought, you know, Marilyn Manson would really be a cool, a cool voice for the games. Specialist, I want that elevator working. Pronto. Powers Booth was one of them as a, you know, really kind of a stern, deep voice, you know, for the commander. And one of the great things to me about playing video games is they're not movies. They kind of are, but they're not really. Now it seems that video games are so much like films that they really can be scary. So this seems like it's a, it will be a very scary game. But the kind of realistic detail of, of the players and of, of what you're looking at on the screen is, is pretty amazing. I mean, it, it looked like a an animated feature. Area 51 uh, seems to fit that element of somewhat uh, of cinema, but really it's gamer. If you're a gamer, you're gonna enjoy playing this game. I, I think it adds a lot of relevance to a video game when you get really strong character actor voices. Powers Booth and David Duchovny. Powers Booth and Marilyn Manson. I, I, I like that company.